uh, being a part of Tata Steel itself uh, was a dream which each and every engineer he has. Um, and basically, a metallurgical engineer, basically, <laughs> if we have to say about steel making, then uh, it was completely a new platform for me to showcase myself. Um, and yes, winning this, uh, it, it makes me feel it makes me feel really immense pleasure. So, how did you come to know about mind over matter? Uh, basically, all my credit, uh, if I would give to, uh, then it would be just my friend Ankit Ranjan Pati. Uh, thing is, he he's I I call him techno geek because uh, he is always busy surfing websites and all. And uh, one day he just clicked out with with the idea about uh, Shahid. Uh, uh, we have got uh, there's an advertisement of mind over matter about thing. So I was not that serious about it. So he said, uh, let's let's give it a try. So just within a span of seven weeks. I, he and uh, one more of my, uh, a very close friend of mine, Biraja Prasad Tripathi, three of us had immense work and came to here. So were you confident about your chances? Exactly not, <laughs> exactly not. Because uh, I was thinking um, there would be thousands of people because from many sources I came to know, there are many uh, submissions and uh, for us it was just like, we are from second year, how can we get into it? And uh, finally when we were shortlisted it was the, the excitement was, was completely high for the lit speed. So what was your motivation to participate in this event? Uh, the entire motivation was uh, basically my parents uh, and my sister. Actually, uh, my sister itself, uh, she is a part of Starter Seals now. And uh, the thing is, uh, it's it's only about how my parents, they have, uh, they, they actually uh, encouraged me about, uh, about going more towards it. And about uh, watching, uh, even at the valuable website, I have seen about many people about whom they have advertised, how they have struggled out in their life, how they have uh, moved out in their life with uh, so much of uh, pain, so much of courage. So I guess the complete, complete uh, um, uh, thing if I would submit it, then it would be my parents. So Shahid, you chose your project on melting of scrap steel using solar energy. So what made you choose this uh, project, this particular theme and this uh, uh, aspect of solar energy. Um, actually, uh, uh, there were there were a list of topics, and uh, from a foresight of a second year student, uh, most of the topics were like uh, we were not knowing about it. We were not clear about how steel has been made. Uh, so when we were going through each of the topics, we found that this topic was sort of a bit interest as we are going to make a furnace, and that is something which which actually captures everyone's attention. So uh, we thought that yes, we can do on this rather on the other part which we are not sure about. That's very great, but uh, do you think that uh, in reality this is going to be uh, actionable and actually cost effective in the longer run because right now renewable energy uh, is pretty expensive to uh, use and apply you know, in different applications? Uh, definitely. Uh, actually the entire work which we have proposed out was completely mathematical and it was theoretical. Uh, going through, surfing through so many research papers and journals which we have taken a lot of hard work and time. Uh, we could uh, actually finally prove that yes, we can make it, but provided when we are given the complete supplements, we are given the all uh, matter or the paper or the uh, need which we want, then I guess we can make it. And yes, there's a factor about the expensiveness, then uh, of course every renewable resources has been made upon or built upon uh, money and uh, time. So if we are making it out, then yes, it will be efficient. That's very good to hear, Shail. Also, uh, tell me about your journey in Tata Steel, like how was it interacting with your mentor? working in the R&D facility? Uh, I would just add one thing, actually, um, from from my childhood I have been seeing this industry. Uh, always from outside I have been seeing. My uncles, many of them are working over here. So every time I used to ask, what is there inside? I used to see long towers, but I never used to know what, is, what the work is going on. So when, uh, when I came here, the type of interaction I had, so humble, so friendly, that I, I, can't, I can't speak, actually, I can't uh, speak about it or I can't define about it. And uh, basically, if I have to say, um, it was it was it was completely mesmerizing. It was completely mesmerizing being with such great mentors and uh, hospitality which we have received. So uh, you were working with a team of uh, a team of four, right? You were working with a team of four. So uh, how was it interacting with your friends? How did you choose your team? Um, how was the journey? Like? Earlier, uh, earlier actually, uh, I and other partner, about whom I have mentioned, Ankit, we both of us had already attended a, a paper presentation at Jalapur University. So we had a very close uh, uh, contact with each other. We, have a very, we share a very close bond. And if it's about Biraja, then <laughs> yes, uh, it was discovering him. Uh, he is one of the bright students of our of our batch. And uh, it was like always a distance from him. But uh, after uh, cooperating, you know, incorporating ourselves over here. 
it was really nice understanding him uh, and his uh, behaviors, his emotions and I am proud that he was my partner. If it's about Saurav, then uh, yes, uh, I, I didn't know anything about him but uh, further when time went by we started sharing emotions, we, sh we started knowing each other well and I guess uh, that will be something which I will keep up with my bag and I will go back. So I will just call your other two teammates who are yes. here yeah. and uh, maybe they can also discuss their contribution to the project. Thank you. So, this is Ankit Pati Hi. and this is Viraja Prasad Pila. So, uh, three of y'all have worked excellently together in this project. So, what are your plans for future now? Now that y'all uh, have uh, gotten exposure in Tata Steel and working in such an amazing R&D facility, where do you see yourself going after this project? Uh, actually, after this project, uh, we are looking to go something like uh, in atomic minerals. Here we have done in ore minerals. Now we are thinking to do something in atomic minerals. So we are focusing on prime focus on Bhava Atomic Research Center and also in Indian Resorts Limited. Right. That's very interesting. What about you, Shai? Uh, about me, then uh, I guess uh, coming up to Tata Seeds was uh, was a, was immense pleasure. But for me, my next step would be uh, doing a, a very deep research. On a very uh, on a very strong topic, I would like to have it uh, at, at big research centers. Like uh, I would like to go for IITs and uh, even the IIC Bangalore's. Uh, and I really want to have a rigorous research work now. So, will you all miss your days that you have spent in Jamshedpur? Too much. We miss. Really miss. <laughs> extremely, it's extremely. Totally we had, we had the best days. The rainy uh, time, or uh, it would be running out from the hostel to here, or running out for the bus, and the moments we have shared that would be awesome. That's great. We really uh, enjoyed listening to you and your uh, future plans. We wish you very all the best and uh, we wish that you keep on uh, coming to Tata Steel back again and help the company grow uh, through its various R&D uh, ideas. So all the best. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Hi Mohini, congratulations on winning Mind Over Matter. Thank you so much. So how does it feel to be a part of this journey? Okay, I would like to describe it a bit because my journey from the beginning till the end to the to winning this contest has been very interesting. Actually in the beginning I was interning at Bhava Atomic Research Center. Then I got a call from Tata Steel that I have been selected for this program and I was actually thrilled along with I was in a big dilemma that where has this uh, my destiny led me to because uh, I was in a bit of a confusion, not a bit but a hell of a confusion that what should I do now. So I took a lot of time and then I chose to uh, leave that internship and come to uh, Tata Steel. Then uh, coming after coming to Tata Steel I realized that uh, being a part of Tata Steel as an intern uh, was actually a dream and the, I could realize it while I was living that dream. So the journey uh, during this internship has been brilliant. It has been very interesting and I got to learn a lot and I got to make uh, so many friends and I got to experience a lot. That's really heartening to your Mohini. So uh, tell me about your experience in working with your mentor, in working with this R&D facility and your uh, journey with the plant. Okay, uh, first of all, I would like to mention my mentor was Mr. Mriganshu Guha. He's uh, a scientific officer and a researcher in the Iron and Ferro Alloy Group. He has been uh, an immensely great support throughout my project internship. Uh, he has been there always for anything that I needed for my experiment to go ahead, like any chemical agents or any apparatus, any equipment. He made everything possible so easily. I guess I wouldn't have been able to do that without him for sure. Sir, I thank you a lot for that. Then the R&D facilities and the entire plant has been a great support as well because each and every member, each and every employee, each and every officer working in this plant is very helpful and they don't make you feel stranger, they don't make you feel like you're new here. They just make you try. Uh, they just try to make you as comfortable as possible as an intern and as a person who is who has just come to work and uh, make his or her dream come true. So it seems like you've lived your dream here, Mohini. Uh, yes. So your project was about fixing of CO two. So 
what do you see the potential of the implementation of your project uh, this this project has a huge potential i mean a lot of potential uh, first of all because co2 being a greenhouse effect the major influence it has in the present scenario is warming up the atmosphere Uh, the entire world is suffering from uh, increase in the level of temperatures all around so it's a matter of huge concern and if we look into the matters of uh, the other agents and the other uh, raw materials that were used or were involved to capture this carbon dioxide are a waste i mean the slag that i had used to capture the carbon dioxide is itself a waste from the steel plant so my project was more of an eco friendly project i mean using the waste to capture something that is harming the environment and producing something that can be further used as a synthetic material and for the betterment of uh, uh, technology was uh, is something my project was about so i'm really proud i had done something that could uh, benefit the environment and that could benefit the technology as well so yes this project has a huge potential for the future as well we hope it does uh, get implemented coming from the environment perspective that you just explained so mohini where do you see yourself 10 years down the line like okay uh, i plan to uh, prepare and uh, appear for cat this year and uh, actually right now i am not able to decide whether i want to go for a job or uh, or an mba but still i'm going to work hard for both of them and i just hope to get a good a very good job at tata steel itself because as i said after working here for 6 weeks i realized that this was my dream and while i was living it i realized it so i just hope that for a few next years i get to work here itself mostly as a researcher and then i would uh, like to continue with my work and if it goes to success if it achieves success i would like to continue with it so after 10 years of my life from now i wish i have completed this project and come up with something very productive and which benefits tata steel as well as the whole world the entire world that's very nice to hear mohini so uh, will you miss the time that you have spent in jamshedpur and interacting with your mentor and working in this r&d facility oh i'm i'm going to miss it a lot because as i have already said i got to learn a lot i mean the daily schedule that i used to follow getting up early in the morning running for the bus catching the bus and then coming here right on time and uh, then reporting to my mentor sir last day i had done this now i'm planning to do this today and then him appreciating my work and then my expectations going even higher because the facilities available were pretty good and uh, the results coming up were very good uh, as i had expected so i'm really going to miss the days the hostel that i was provided was uh, with was very nice i had made a lot of friends and i'm really going to miss them i mean a lot so yes i'm going to miss jamshedpur also a lot so last question mohini so you were the only girl in this entire program and uh, coming from a iit background how does it feel to win this entire competition okay <laughs> this is pretty interesting and a uh, question because uh, first of all i didn't know that i'm the only girl being selected for this program after coming here i came to know and that point somehow struck me that wow i'm the only girl here and it didn't uh, seem to be an uh, obstacle at all because all people here were a great support and uh, yes the fact that i was the only girl and and i was selected for such a huge program something that was national and something that was performed on such a large scale i was thrilled and delighted that finally i'm a part of such a big company and i'll get to work with such great people with such great minds that's very nice to your mohini all the best for your future and hope thank to you see so you much. again in tata steel thank you